Fear. It gets in the way of a lot of things. Like, there's this popular cliff jumping spot near my house and I really want to try it. But there's one thing standing in my way. You guessed it. Fear. Yep. I am chuck full of it. However, in Minecraft, I have no fear. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Oh, okay, well like minimal fear. Cause you see, in the real world, I'm Jake. Strong, handsome, and not very brave. But in Minecraft, I'm Steve. Oh yeah. Stronger, handsomer, and super brave. But that got me thinking, what does Steve have that I don't? I have a crafting table, I know how to build stuff. Could it be the shirt? Definitely not the shirt. So after hours of extensive research, I realized realize something. There's one thing that all the bravest heroes have in common. Swords. I know this sounds crazy, but that has to be it. Even the most cowardly characters turn into courageous heroes when you give them a sword. So if I want to be brave like Steve, I need to build a sword like Steve. Right? So let's start with the basics. A wooden Minecraft sword should be the easiest one to make because wood is the easiest resource to gather. So I'd be cliff jumping in no time. I just had to trace this toy sword so I could get the perfect shape. Now I couldn't believe that I, Jacleton Montgomery, Lewis Douglas, Dale Garvinson, Carlini was not only going to be the proud owner of a wooden Minecraft sword, but I was also finally going to be strong, handsome, and courageous. All I had to do was finish this sword and make sure it works, cause let's be real. No one's gonna feel brave running around around with a sword that doesn't work, but I was pretty confident. Well, at first, then I was confused. I did everything right, but then I remembered that wooden swords don't work on trees. But just because it doesn't work on a tree doesn't mean it doesn't work at all. So I brought it back to my house to try on some other things. A pinata? Nope. Pineapple? No, not really. It was then I decided it was time to accept the fact that a wooden sword is pretty much useless and it wasn't going to help me with my bravery complex. They're pretty much only good for cleaning up spider webs and cobwebs. Kind of like the ones I have up in the corner of my garage that I should really take care of, but I've been avoiding it because of my fear of spiders. Because I know there's a spider up there somewhere. But I have the wooden sword and I don't really have an excuse anymore. I really can't let my garage be taken over by spiders, so I did what I had to do. Well, that was terrifying, but at least I don't have spider webs in my garage now, but it's time to build a sword that actually works. So the next course of action was to of course build a stone sword. Now I've built stone Minecraft tools in the past, so I knew what had to be done, and I knew it wouldn't be easy. You see, in Minecraft, you can just go out and mine stone, but since I don't have a pickaxe, all I can do is hope I find a rock flat enough to cut a sword out of. Alright, so I really need to find a stone here, and I'm really sketched out because I'm pretty sure I'm hearing rattlesnakes. Oh yeah. I was literally walking through Rattler territory, and I was scared to say the least. All I wanted to do was turn around and go home, but I knew that if I wanted to build a sword, I had to keep moving. I just had to be careful where I stepped. I gotta find a stone. I stumbled upon an old construction site. Scraps and debris from recent building projects were just piled up, ready to be rummaged through. It took a little time, but I knew I'd find something here. Now that I had a stone, it was pretty much go time. I was gonna have a super cool Minecraft sword, and I was going to be as brave as a lion. Not, not that lion. There we go. Yes, a lion. I just had to put this stone through an extensive cleaning process first. All right, let's make a sword. Okay, no big deal. We've done this before. Just trace the sword, cut the stone, and everything will be fine. Now, obviously, cutting a stone is a lot harder than cutting wood, and a sword has much more detail than an axe, so my past experience was pretty useless here. But I wouldn't let that stop me. I was going to achieve the almost impossible. What? No. How could this be? I've made two swords now, and neither one of them has been a success. I'm just afraid that literally nothing's gonna work. And rightfully so. This has been a total disaster, and at this rate, I'd never build a sword, and I'd always be a coward. But I couldn't just sit here being afraid of failure. I had to keep moving. So after a quick cry session in the shower, I knew what I had to do. Something else. And that's exactly what I did. I consulted the internet for answers and found exactly what I was looking for. So I journeyed off into the city to pick up the goods. Okay, let's try this again. So you'll notice I got two this time, because I really don't want to mess this up. All right, back at it. So I traced the sword, but that's honestly pretty boring, so you don't really need to see any of that. So then I brought the sword outside to cut it out, but yet again, you don't really need to see any of that. So let me just skip to the good parts here, and uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm just cutting along here nice and straight, and then pop. It just snapped. That is not a good sign. So going forward, I did my best to be careful. Oh, no! But I guess I wasn't careful enough. 
All right, I think I figured it out. This sword design has a lot of detail, and the more detail it has, the easier it is to break. So in reality, this sword design is not very strong. So rather than making a very complicated design that's definitely gonna break, I just spent the last three and a half minutes making the perfect design. Now this was much easier to cut, even though I still kind of messed it up and made more of a stone cricket bat than a stone sword, but it was honestly looking pretty sweet. It was heavy, it was slick, but there was one thing this sword was not. Sharp. So once again, we have a sword that doesn't cut. This was so beyond frustrating, and the only thing I could do is just sit there and try to clear my head. Jake! Jake! Are you with me? Are you awake? Steve? Why do you sound like Kermit? Never mind who I sound like. Listen, don't give up. Never give up. It's just so hard. I'm afraid I'm gonna fail. Just keep moving forward and shave your unibrow. Yeah! Steve was right. My unibrow was getting out of control, and I should also keep moving forward. I just didn't know what my next move was yet, so I decided to go back to the basics. The first thing I did was get lost in the woods. Then I saved a sea turtle, threw sand at a cow, and made friends with a chicken. Take this sword, Mr. Chicken. It'll make you brave. And after playing for a while, the path became clear. The wooden sword and stone sword were total failures, and neither one of them made me any more brave. So the obvious next move was to make an iron sword, but this time following the crafting recipe as closely as possible. So I've got a chunk of sheet metal and a chunk of wood. Let's see what we can do. So the idea here is pretty simple. Make a handle out of wood, the blade out of metal, and finally put them together crafting a super cool sword that turns me into a super brave dude. So how about I cut out the metal and you cut out the wood? Wait, this isn't even real. We're in a video. Uh-oh, that ain't good. All right, let me just delete that and... Video. Number 847, please resume work as normal. Sir, the clones are becoming self-aware. I always knew this day would come, and it's time that you learn the truth. This is me, long before I uploaded my first YouTube video. Notice how scared and nervous I am? That's because it was my first time editing a video and I had no idea what I was doing. And I was just getting so frustrated because all the editing softwares were so expensive and confusing. But then one day, I found Vegas. Sorry. Vegas. The editing software that changed everything for me. It was affordable and unlike making Minecraft swords, it was really easy to use. So easy that one day I created an army of clones to help me make YouTube videos. Bottom line is starting my YouTube channel was really scary. And if it wasn't for Vegas's editing software, I probably wouldn't even have started YouTube. So when they reached out wanting to sponsor this video, it was a dream come true. And they're giving anyone who uses my code Jake30 at checkout 30% off all subscription models. I left my affiliate link down below so you guys can start editing some crazy stuff. Well, we gotta let this blue dry for like 24 hours and then we'll be good. All right, finally it's been 24 hours. Let's take a look at this thing. The glue seems to be dry. The sword appears to be sturdy, but I guess we won't know for sure until we try it out. First things first, let's try an apple. Yo! I cut it right in half! Look at that thing! But so what? It could cut through a few rotten apples. Anything can do that. I even made batarangs that do that no problem. No. A real sword needs to be able to handle a much bigger challenge. No way! Dude, are you kidding me? Look at this thing! That is a super clean cut! But unfortunately, the excitement was short-lived. Because even though I sliced through the pineapple, I destroyed my blade in the process. Alright, making the blade out of metal was definitely the right move. But this metal is just a little too flimsy. I was going to need a giant chunk of metal to make this work. But that's the problem. I don't have a giant chunk of metal. Do you have a giant... Didn't think so. I knew what had to be done, so it was off to the store to buy a giant chunk of metal so I could craft a strong and effective sword. And this time, nothing was gonna stand in my way, because this time, I wasn't afraid of failing. Oh man, I hope these guys have metal. They didn't have the metal. So it was back to the house to consult the oracle. There had to be some way of ordering a giant chunk of metal online, so after searching high and low, I finally found it. All right, I've officially ordered a big chunk of metal. While I waited for my metal to arrive, all I could think about is how brave Brave I was going to be. I was going to be just like all my favorite heroes, and I was finally going to conquer my fear. It was game time. 
look, I've got one shot, one opportunity to seize everything I've ever wanted. I can either capture it or I can let it slip. My palms were sweaty, knees were weak, arms were heavy. This wasn't going to be easy and this wasn't going to be fun. I've already destroyed one of my grinder blades and I don't even have one side of my sword cut out yet. I didn't realize how difficult cutting through a quarter inch of aluminum was going to be. But everything worth doing is hard and if this sword was going to give me the bravery needed to join my friends cliff jumping, then it was certainly worth doing no matter how long it took. I think one more day and this will be done. I was right. One more day. One more grueling, disgustingly hot, exhausting day and it was finally done. I was done being a coward. I was done being afraid. This sword would finally give me the courage I need to face my fears head on. I was finally going to be brave. But something was wrong. I stood there with my sword and I didn't feel any more courageous. In fact, I didn't feel any different at all. Did I do something wrong? Then it hit me. What if I was wrong the whole time? What if the sword has nothing to do with it? What if... What if I've always been brave? Well, it turns out that being brave doesn't mean that you have no fear. It just means that you won't let fear stand in your way. Oh, that's all I got!